The information in this video is provided for informational and educational purposes only. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Ryan's Robotics and today uh, I am uh, this month's video is a uh, video interview with uh, a gentleman named Ron from Canova Robotics and he is going to demonstrate the dynamic arm support. Um, this channel obviously deals a lot with Jayco because that's what I have, but Canova also has other devices that for some of you may even be a better fit than a Jayco. So um, I think the demonstration is going to be very um, insightful for many of you. So uh, please uh, take a moment, uh, listen to a word from our sponsor, and I'll be right back with the interview. This vlog was made possible by a sponsorship from Avexis, a company dedicated to developing and commercializing gene therapies for patients and families devastated by rare and life-threatening neurological genetic diseases. To learn more about a treatment for spinal muscular atrophy, visit treatsma.com. That's treatsma.com. It's where you will discover how this treatment works, hear about family stories, and learn about the steps to starting treatment. Visit treatsma.com today. All right, we are here with uh, Ron from Canova, and he is going to uh, demonstrate how the uh, dynamic arm support works. Thanks, Ryan. Yep. So this device um, is a powered arm support um, it's new to the U.S. Uh, in the past, we had mechanical arm supports available, but nothing that was powered that the user can control uh, on their own. Um, so I'll give a quick demonstration of how the device works. So we place the user's arm into this arm trough, and it's got an elbow brace back here. We use Velcro strap to hold it in place. And the idea behind this is to assist people who are in a power wheelchair who have difficulty lifting their arms up. Um, so uh, if you still have uh, the ability to grasp um, and maybe rotate your wrist a bit, you'll be able to pull in with your elbow, uh, but just can't lift, then this device can be beneficial uh, to assist you. So the way that it works is it has a spring system in here that provides compensation. What we're trying to do is just take away the weight of the arm. Uh, we want the individual to be weightless. And we have a, uh, a six button controller here that allows that individual to make adjustments. So right now I'm adding some compensation or some lift to get my arm and I'm gonna come down a little bit get to where my arm feels like it has uh, no weight at all. It's like I'm an astronaut or, or I'm uh, uh, floating in the ocean. So by taking that weight away, and the typical arm is gonna wear, weigh anywhere from six to nine pounds, um, it requires now much less shoulder muscle to be able to move around. So you can see we have good range of motion and a nice fluid movement um, with the power arm support. So we always set it so the individual can get up to the top of their head for scratching a niche. Um, what we see this use most for is to enable individuals to eat and drink again. So without uh, assistance, uh, wash your face, brush your teeth, hold a cell phone and have a, a private conversation, um, adjust your glasses, be able to reach outside of your footprint of your wheelchair so that you can turn a light switch on or catch a thermostat make adjustments or an elevator button or even a, uh, a door plate um, if you have enough strength for that. So um, in terms of who uses this device, it's a very broad uh, diagnostic.
diagnostic category. Uh, it includes uh, spinal muscular, muscular atrophy, SMA, uh, muscular dystrophy. Uh, we have quite a few users with Duchenne and Becker. Uh, other muscular dystrophies as well, uh, spinal cord injury, ALS, and a few individuals with cerebral palsy. Um, so it's really about, uh, it's really not about the diagnostic, but what your, what your capabilities are and what you need assistance with. So this can be mounted on the right side or the left side. Um, it does have the ability to tilt the arm forward, which allows me to reach further out, or to tilt it backwards, which allows me to reach further uh, back towards my back. We also have the ability to lock it in place. So I'm locking it left, right now I can't move left, right, but I can still move up and down. Mm. And I'm going to release that. I can also lock it vertically. So now I'm locked like this. I can still move right, left, but I can't go forward, backward, um, or up and down. And Often we see individuals using this for typing, or writing, or painting. Um, it just uh, conserves energy because you're establishing a, a floor here. Uh, we see some individuals who will lock it in place in all directions um, so that they can keep their hand on the joystick if they're on a, a bumpy terrain. Um, mm. So uh, if your hand, your hand won't be able to fall off the, the joystick anymore. I'm releasing it. Uh, let me go ahead and, and turn sideways so you can see this from the from the side a bit. Well, if we're low enough to see, but here you have the arm. It runs from my hip up to my shoulder. It's at, a, at about shoulder level. It has an upper arm, it has the arm brace, which has a trough for my forearm, um, and an elbow support for my upper arm. Um, it uses the power of your existing wheelchair batteries. Uh, it's very low uh, current consumption, so you just charge your chair at night like you uh, normally would. Uh, and I'll show you quickly how to remove the device. I'm going to lock it in place. So the caretaker just pushes, uh, pushes the button on the back, which releases it, and it lifts off. So easy on, easy off, it weighs 15 pounds, so it's not super heavy, um, so that a caretaker will be able to put it on and off uh, very simply and very easily. And that's it, that's kind of a quick uh, demonstration of what the 0540 uh, does. Uh, one of the biggest questions that we get is about funding. Um, it is new to the U.S., it is expensive, uh, but we are having some reasonable success getting it covered by insurance. Uh, so far, I think we've had it covered about 60% of the time it gets covered. And typically when it gets covered by insurance, it's at uh, 100%. That's fantastic. Um, really, really encouraging uh, approval rate, I think. Yeah, we're very uh, proud of that. We, we started at 0% and the device has been in the U.S. for uh, almost two years uh, total, um, so we're, we're we're improving our percentage uh, as the as the quarters go by. Well, that was an excellent demonstration, sir. Uh, thank you so much for the time. Really appreciate it. You you are welcome. If anybody decides that they're interested in evaluation, they can contact us, and we'll we'll uh, step them through the process. Excellent. So, uh, yeah, that about wraps it up. Uh, I just want to give a big thank you to Ron and Canova for just taking the time to do this. Um, but yeah, other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to the SMA News Today YouTube channel and ring that notifications bell so you don't miss any videos that we make here, and uh, I will see you guys in the next one.